Sometimes, life takes us on a journey to discover what truly matters. This is the story of why I left the United States in my 40s, perhaps forever, to return to the familiar embrace of Europe. I wanted to be just immersed in history, but without trying, without particularly looking for museums or galleries, just like that, walking and being right here. I mean, this is one, one of my favorite spots here in Valencia. This bridge with the lake, thousands of years, history, just like that in the park. After graduating in jewelry design from one of the best schools in America for gemology, I launched my business and had the opportunity to work with well-known people. I mean, after all, this is Hollywood. In Los Angeles, I met incredible individuals who helped shape my world and create lasting memories. America was generous with opportunities and I felt appreciated, even looked up to. What's up y'all, it's Taboo. Welcome to my photo shoot for my book, Falling Up. My business was growing, but still there was this nagging feeling that something was missing. Even though I was lucky to meet some of the most colorful, eclectic people, establishing strong relationships in LA proved difficult. Priorities were different and spending time with friends often took a backseat. I felt drawn to the sense of community and the slower pace of life that I remembered from my childhood. In 2015, when I returned to Europe for a jewelry show in Vicenza, Italy, the feeling of familiarity and comfort overwhelmed me. The quaint streets, the laughter of friends, and the warmth of family seemed to be the missing piece in my life's puzzle. That's when I began exploring the idea of living in Europe again. The journey took me to Valencia, Spain, when I found a greater life awaiting for me. The city's vibrant culture, sense of community, and the balance between work and leisure offered a deeper connection with the people. Leftovers from fires. <laughs> Beauty everywhere, from nature to architecture. Honestly, I was bored in the US not being able to walk places. It's a very um, hard thing to describe because it's not just the accessibility of things, but just things are designed so you're outside. Things are designed so you're among people. Things are designed so you just feel included in, in the city, in the nature. You become part of the urban life and I love it. And by the way, this fence was not here before. So you have direct access to the flowers, but they put this because of fires. There's so many people here that, and the flowers are irresistible. So I get it, I get it, but they're so beautiful. I can literally get swallowed by this tree. Unbelievable. And there are like several in the city like this. Ginormous, like from a fairy tales. I feel like the roots will start talking right now. It is horchata and farton's time. Never been here. It is one of the most famous horchata years. Look at this. History just sneaking in, sneaking through all the buildings. Something just loaded with history. And this is why I'm here. You can never get this close to the cultural depths of a city. This, it's made with flowers. And the flowers are being also donated here from each area of the city. It's incredible. And if you truly want to experience Valencia like a local, 
I have created the ultimate guide to Valencia, which I'll link in the description. There you will find the restaurants that I recommend, different neighborhoods, activities, and everything you need to know before you arrive in Valencia. Today I'm doing very touristic things, but I'm still super immersed in history, in architecture, in the vibe of time, and this, things like this. of this time. It's a really nice presentation. A whole bar and each glass is only $3.95. Great selection. Reds, reds. That's how Mondays should be. fresh. Sometimes you can have a, a better Asian meal in a place like this than an Asian restaurant. Well, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> these are good. <laughs> and sometimes I like to be a tourist in my own city. Not my own city, but the city I live in. So today, I've been avoiding this forever, but I'm going to film at the Central Market and excited to have a drink there. It's the last hour of closing. So let's go. Ooh, a lot of things are closed. It's gorgeous, look at this. Most things are closed. I was actually hoping to get some, some tapas, but unfortunately, uh, it's again closing hour. It's nobody's fault. It's my fault. So off to the next thing. And I'm trying not to get mad but they closed it they closed everything trying to get a beer or drink somewhere and it's just for food it's packed with tourists i don't get it the whole the whole market still had so many people seriously if you know let me know in the comments in the most touristic area where the market is and they're still closing unbelievable this one thing just really pisses me off i'm trying not to get upset because i'm out with our friends who are visiting us in valencia but uh, even touristic places. Come on, people. So unexpected, found this place not in the center, but the variety of food, the quality of food for what it seems on the pictures, it's at the level what we've seen in Barcelona and Paris. So I'm really curious and it's not in the center. Really curious to try their food. The falafel, this one is a falafel. That's the falafel. I want to try it. Really good. This is the newest thing, falafel X Benedict. Look at this. It's so. Oh my! And they have, by the way, they have. Uh, it's a homemade brioche. They prepare everything here, and they work with kilometer zero ingredients. So very sustainable, very healthy. Let's dive in. <laughs> okay, do this. Excellent. It has some radish and the falafel. Oh my god. Wow. I wanted to see this, but the time flies so quickly. It just ended on 19th of March. I, uh, by the way, we saw his uh, sculptures in Madrid. You can check out my video. Incredible artists. They featured him in the Arts and Sciences complex and in Madrid. Leaving the familiar behind, it's always a challenge, regardless of our age. It is hard to let go of memories of a place we once called home. But when we begin this uncertain new journey, we realize it's filled with excitement and opportunities. And we often find that it's these very challenges that help us grow and evolve. This was my story of leaving the United States in my 40s to return to Europe. In Valencia, I found a life that resonated with my soul, a place where I could foster deeper connections and truly cherish the moments spent with friends and family. This captivating city taught me that sometimes the most profound happiness lies in the simplest things. And it's in those moments where we find our true selves.